more often than not, I have felt not Jewish enough. Uh, my mother is Southern Baptist, my father's an atheist Jew, so I was raised with pretty much nothing. Um, and at one point, when my sister asked who Moses was, my father knew that he had gone too far. She was 11 at the time. Um, but growing up in Miami, the community wasn't very welcoming to people who were Jewish on the wrong side. So that my mother wasn't Jewish, but that I wasn't Jewish. Um, and, and a lot of people still believe that. But in D.C., it was easier to find a community of people who said, you are living a Jewish life. You can be, you are Jewish enough. Um, but what this did was that in having, going through the process of having a Jewish wedding um, and having a child whom we've, despite my husband and I raising as Jewish, is that we decided to go through the Tevila process to have our son Henry, who's now 10 months, be placed in the mikvah and go through the ritual in front of the Beit Din that says, you are being confirmed into Judaism. Um, we don't like the word convert because he's not going from not being Jewish, but we felt that this was important to us to protect him from those people who, and I still get it, um, oh, you're not Jewish enough, or you're not right Jewish. And I'm going, but I, I go to Shabbat services, not just high holiday services. You know, I, I direct the Jewish education of hundreds of children in the city. You know, I do all these things, why am I not good enough for you? And I've had to step back from that, but then also say, I can't have my decision to not convert because I don't think I should be, have to convert because of patrilineal descent. I don't want that fist resting on my son. I just, I don't think he should have to bear that burden. It's an interesting sort of thing, but I made a very conscious choice, and my all of my choices about Judaism have been very conscious. Um, when you talk about Jacob's name changing to Israel, it means to struggle. You're struggling with Judaism. There's not one right way to do that, and I very firmly believe that. I make conscious decisions about what I will and will not do, about keeping kosher or being Shomer Shabbat or how many services I go to or whatever it happens to be. Um, but I, all of those have been conscious, and I think that that's what makes me a good Jew and a good enough Jew, if not for other people, then for me and with God.